Hello and welcome to the NGC Jupyter Notebook demo for image segmentation. The demo will cover identifying defective parts in industrial image using publicly available dataset and a sample Jupyter Notebook. In today's demo, we'll cover the following. In the first step, we'll clone the resource. Then we'll build and run the container. We'll then fire up the Jupyter Lab inside the container. Then we'll upload the Jupyter Notebook inside the Jupyter Lab. Finally, we run the cells in the Jupyter Notebook to test the model using a pre-trained unit model from NGC. If you would like to follow along during the demo, you can find all resources at these links. Before we begin, let's talk about what is image segmentation. Image segmentation deals with placing each pixel of an image into specific classes that share common characteristics. It's widely used in many fields including manufacturing, autonomous driving, medical imaging, and more. For example, in the image shown, the common objects are colored in the same color. For this demo, we'll use the unit model from the NG6 catalog. The NG6 catalog is a hub for GPU-optimized AI and HPC containers, pre-trained models, SDKs, and Helm charts that help simplify and accelerate your workflows. This unit model is adopted from the original version of the unit model, which is a convolutional autoencoder for 2D image segmentation. It has two parts, the encoder and decoder. The encoder converts the input sequence into a single dimensional vector, and the decoder uses the output of the encoder as input and converts this vector into the output sequence. With this pre-trained model, you don't have to build a model from scratch and can retrain the model using your own data. On this page, you can see all relevant training hyperparameters for this model, such as number of epochs, batch size, learning rate, accuracy, and more. To get this model up and running, you need to have NVIDIA Docker up and running. NVIDIA Docker allows the containers to easily run on NVIDIA GPUs. We'll use the latest TensorFlow container available from NGC Catalog. And finally, you need access to an NVIDIA GPU-based system that is either on-prem or in the cloud. In the first step, we build the container which can see in the quick start guide and the, the steps of building the container. This will make sure that we have access to all necessary sources for running the model in the, this container environment. Once the container is built, we run the model and the Jupyter Notebook within the container. Containers are great to work with because they allow you to package up all the dependencies in an isolated environment. It also makes them portable and easy to develop and deploy. Let's go through the, these steps to build the container. We, as you can see here, we need to make a directory, move to the directory, clone the resources, and then using the Docker build to build the container. Let's go to the and command line and try these commands. So here you can see that we build a directory called unit move to directory and we use the wget command to clone the resources now we need to unzip the resources so we have a docker file in the resources so we use this docker file to build a container docker build and we tag it with name unit industrial can put any name that you want. So as you can see here, we pass all eight steps and now we have a container called unit industrial. In this step, we need to run the container. Let's go back to NGC page and see how we can run the container. You need to do these um, commands to run the container in interactive mode. Make a directory called data set, make a directory called result, and then we run the container in interactive mode and mount this to directory inside the container. Then we define a port for this container because we want to have access to Jupyter Lab on this port. Finally, the name of the container. Let's move to, to the um, command line and run this command. So let's build the Result folder, build the data set folder. And these are the run commands. Docker run interactive mode, 
mount the data set folder uh, you need to put address of this data data set folder that you built in in your system here and it's the result folder put the address of the result folder in your system uh, port 8888 that is defined for this container and the name of the container now we have access to inside this container the next step is opening the jupyter lab so use the this command jupyter notebook define the ip Find zero 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 zero. Define the port. The port that we define for container eighty eight eighty eight. And the last one is the long root. This command make a link for us and we, have, we can have access to the Jupyter lab using this link. You can see that we have host name. If you run it on your local system, you don't need to change this. But I run this demo on the Google Cloud instance. So instead of host name, I need to put the external IP of this instance in the address. Replace the host name with external IP of my instance. Now I have access to the Jupyter Lab. The next step is uploading the notebook inside Jupyter Lab. In order to download the Jupyter uh, notebook, you uh, can use wget command or you can download manually from here. I already downloaded the notebook, so I need to upload in this Jupyter lab. The name of the Jupyter notebook here is Unit Industrial Demo. Now that we have the Jupyter notebook, we only need to run the cells in order. We can download the data set for this model and download the checkpoints uh, from NGC this model and inference the model. The first step is downloading the data set. We have a script for downloading the data set. And I added this script first. Uh, if you have permission problem, then you run this uh, the script or any other script, use chmod to add this script to your system. I add it here and now I use the script to download the data set. We use the DAGM 2007 data set for training this model. This data set is artificially generated but it's similar to real problem, word problem. The data set consists of multiple uh, data sets. Each, each of these small data sets consisting of 1000 images showing the background text texture without defects and 150 images with one label defects each on the background texture. So when we have the data set uh, downloaded, we can start training or inferencing the model. Now we have the data set ready to use. Uh, so we download and pre-process the data set. The next step is download checkpoints of the pre-trained model from NGC. We use these cells, run these cells to download the pre-trained and checkpoints. NVIDIA provides pre-trained unit models along with many other deep learning models here. Uh, we download an unzip pre-trained unit model corresponding to the 10 classes of the AGM 2007 defect detection data set. Upon completion of the download, uh, we need to have uh, 10 different classes. So now we have the checkpoints. 
we need to unzip the checkpoint. And then we check if we have all the classes downloaded. You can see that we have all 10 classes. The next step is inferencing the model. We have the checkpoints, we have the data downloaded. So we use the data and the checkpoints corresponding to each data set to inference the model. We launch an interactive session to verify the correctness of the pre-trained models. We can load new test image to test the, uh, the model. We can choose any of these 10 classes to test the model with the corresponding uh, checkpoints of that class. So we need to import some libraries to the model. And then we choose one image. Here we use class, we choose class one, the image one from class one. You can see that there's a defect part on this image. Then we normalize the image. Now we want to test the model using this image. So here you can see that we have class one, we have the checkpoints for the class one, test the model. Now we want to plot the output of this test. So we can see that the model could detect the defects part. Let's try another model, in another image in the same class. Image two. You can see that the defect part is here. Normalize the image, test, now we plot the result of the testing the model. You can see that it detects the defect part correctly. We can test the model, inf inference the model and test the image using another class. So in instead of class 1, we use class 4, image 1. So we can see the defect part. The background of this class is completely different from class 1. So the background of image in each class are similar to each other, but they're different from background of other nine classes. Normalize the image. And then we need to change here to class 4 and test the model. So let's plot the output of the test. It's, you can see the detect the defects here and it was here. So in this demo, and we can see that we can uh, test the model using the data set that we download during this uh, run this uh, notebook and checkpoints that we downloaded from NGC. So you can test all these 10 classes using the pre-trained model checkpoints from NGC and the data set that we download uh, by running the cells of this notebook. There are other scripts inside this Jupyter in, in this container. If you want to train the model from scratch, you can use these scripts. You don't need to um, use the pre-trained model. So here in training part in NGC page, you can see that we have a group of scripts for training the model for each class. So you can move to the script uh, folder and uh, choose the script that you want. You need to uh, three uh, parameters for running the, each script. The result folder, the data folder, and the class ID. 
you need to detail and um, determine the number of the GPU that you want to use, the class ID, and the result for and data folder is the same for all of them. So you can use the command line and do the training using these scripts for each class. Beside, you can do the evaluation using these scripts. And we have unit eval scripts, and you can do the evaluation uh, for each class. This number shows the class ID, it's the data directory and the result directory. You can see the advanced features of this model here. And uh, so you can either use the notebook and use the pre trained model from NGC to inference the model using different data set or you can train the model by yourself using the scripts in the scripts folder inside the container. So here you can see that we have a scripts folder and you have this unit um, GPU scripts that you can use for training the model. And you have this unit AL um, scripts that you can use to evaluate the model.